Hi, and welcome back to Calico Flower Studio. I'm Danny, and today I am going to just make a regular old collage on a piece of paper as opposed to working in my journal today. So I am going to be sharing some thoughts about um, the journey and how things can change along the way, and they often do. So sit back and relax and enjoy the process. Here we are, back at the table. I brought lots of different scraps today. It seems like I stuck to a certain color scheme. Pinks, oranges, greens, a little yellow, and some black pieces. Oh, cat crossing. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Right now, it seems like I'm thinking of flowers with different pieces that are shaped and arranged like flower petals. I do love when collages end up having an organic feel to them, but not when it's in a super obvious way. I realize that I'm building with a specific image in mind, so um, I usually don't like to do that, so I'm going to cut out these flower shapes and try again. You know how I always say to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the process? Well, I've had some thoughts lingering in my mind that really speak to that sentiment. Whenever I'm making a piece of art, that piece of art goes through so many stages. It takes so many forms between the time I start and the time I finish. The piece I've started here is certainly no exception. Many times I find myself totally in love with a stage of a piece even before it's finished. And when I document my process, sometimes I think to myself, ah, if only I had stopped there. Or looking back, I may have taken this moment or that moment to go a different direction. Who knows how many different versions of the same piece could exist out there in the multiverse, in the uh, alternate realities, or whatever you want to call them. But, alas, I am having this particular journey, which is beautiful and interesting all the same, regardless of what hindsight may try to convince me. It's not always the end result that is the important thing. Sometimes the process is just as, if not more, interesting than the destination.
Another thought swirling around my brain is this phrase I heard. A spiritual teacher named Adi Da once said, Relax. Nothing is under control. <laughs> if that doesn't describe my life lately. <laughs> I also think of the penultimate stanza from To a Mouse by Robert Burns. It's a poem. But mouse, you are not alone in proving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men go often askew and leave us nothing but grief and pain for promised joy. So, no matter how perfect your plan is, it will always turn out differently than you imagined. <laughs> And the final stanza of that poem is about how the mouse is better off than the man because the mouse lives in the present and doesn't ruminate on past schemes like the man does. So anyway, basically, I just got to let go of expectations and ride the waves. I had to recruit more material. It seems that I need a, a little more than what I initially picked out. Now I'm gonna use this fabric to create some more rigid geometrical shapes to balance out all of the uh, asymmetrical organic shapes. I'm thinking about window panes. Lastly, to finish this one off, I'm going to add this fabric square behind the collage to give it a bit of a border. And then the whole thing will be mounted on a white piece of watercolor paper. I don't know that I've ever signed anything on this channel. <laughs> so there's a first. As I was cleaning up, this little piece was laying next to my scraps bin. I got so excited because it's an old painting of a window. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, someday I will use this hand, but not today. I think this is finished, so thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and you want to keep hanging out here, then please subscribe to this channel. It helps to support my practice, and it's totally free, so why not? Please enjoy the rest of your day whatever it may bring you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!